Hi, recently I've been working on some old saws, renovating them, getting them ready for use and I had a couple of back saws just like this, well this is one of them uh, basically identical, same length, same width and uh, they were both cross cut saws and I decided I'd change one of them into a rip cut now what had happened to that particular saw is that somebody had used it just been using the teeth I guess in the middle, wearing those out and just um, resharpening those teeth and what had happened was the plate or the, the tooth line had ended up being a bit of a crescent like so um, first thing I had to do was try and straighten that out so I took a file to it jointed this edge so everything became nice and flat anyway let's, let's show you so I took a mill file filed that nice and straight removing loads of material at both ends and just taking off a very tiny bit in the middle so now I've got that so that it's nice and straight I've got it so that uh, this edge is square to the plate's face and then basically I had no teeth on it so I need to lay out some teeth I got an imperial ruler which happened to have um, twelfths on it which was the pitch that I wanted so I was able to just put that up to the, the saw itself and lay in 12 little marks for every inch now I wasn't particularly accurate with this I wanted to have 12 in each but I wasn't particularly bothered whether the spacing was dead accurate and it would be interesting to see how differently this might cut to one that's been made uh, in a factory where everything is really precise so anyway, that's what I've done. Um, you can see the stages here. We've got no teeth here at all, no indications. Uh, we've got a few tiny little gullets that I've started off with a hacksaw because I find that much easier to start exactly on my mark. And then at this end, I've gone through the process a bit further using a saw file and uh, filed these teeth for a rip cut. So the next step then is to set the teeth with a saw set, alternate teeth being pressed out in. Uh, opposite directions. I've shaped and I've set the teeth I'm just going to go through with the file again and that will sharpen them So not only is it fast cutting, but also the kerf is lovely and thin, so it holds the saw and uh, means we can keep on a straight line very easily. And I can put it where I want it, it's, which is nice too. So. Uh, As I set it in the right direction to begin with, it tracks nice and straight. 